Hey guys, it's me Marty and welcome back to Glam with Marty. So today I am in my robe for a reason because tonight we have a spa night featuring Kylie Skin. I am so excited because I've been sitting on this stuff for quite some time. The box is really big, that's why it's back there. I don't want to hold it anymore. But I have tried out every single thing in this box at this point. So I want to review everything with you guys and tell you guys what I think about each and every one of these Kylie Skin products. Stuff for the bath, stuff for the lips, stuff for the face, just all sorts of nice stuff to try out. I even wore a pink robe that kind of matches if you didn't see this in my new year's evening what, what was it called uh, of the diamond list this robe oh my god y'all i'm obsessed with this robe like it's to the point of ridiculous anyway so i'll put a card for that up there if you haven't seen that but so before i throw you guys to the intro i did try some of these things on a separate day i tried some last weekend and then some i'm gonna try tonight because there's so many repeat things in here so you will see cut-ins of different things y'all know i'm a big fan of kylie scene y'all know i've had multiple things from them but this new bath and spa situation let's find out Okay, so first and foremost, I need to remove all this makeup so that I can wash my face and get my facial on and all that situation. So last time I did try out the makeup wipes, which are right here. I'm going to throw you guys to that test out of the makeup wipes right now so y'all can see what those are like. Oh my God, y'all. Long night. So back to our Kylie spa night. It is 3 a.m. So I am very tired. So I need to do this quick and I need to go to bed. But I did see there were a couple of makeup removing products in here. So, uh, so before we go any further, we have... The Kylie Skin Salon Clips that I got in here, they are $10. So I just want to use those to hold like my, right at the top of my head because I don't want a headband. I just want to push like these little parts back. Oh, these feel so good. So they feel really soft. Like you could use them for um, like while you're doing your hair and they wouldn't crimp. And like for me with my head, something that's like too invasive like it's going into my scalp is always a problem like if my hair was down today oh my god that would be so cute so these are kylie skin by kylie jenner hair accessory salon clips no directions or anything on them they're hair clips how confusing could they be these are the makeup removing wipes there's 30 wipes in here and i will tell y'all something i already don't like it doesn't have a snapback thing if y'all don't know what i mean by that let me show y'all these right here they have that little hook that closes it to keep them fresh. I don't know, these looks like they were at TJ Maxx for $2. Yeah, so I paid $2 for these and they come with that snap and they come with double the wipes. These come with 60 wipes. These Kylie Skin ones though, again, just like same with everything else, I absolutely adore her packaging. Oh, $10, that's not too, too bad. Makeup removing wipes, cleanse and hydrate. 10 bucks for 30, that's not, that's not actually bad. I thought it was gonna be way more than that. My makeup removing wipes remove makeup, dirt and oil, leaving skin feeling fresh and clean. Formulated with soothing and hydrating ingredients these towelettes cleanse while being gentle on your skin we're gonna see how much they cleanse because she got she got her work cut off for her today i don't like that she put my well i guess i don't know i wish it would have been in a hard case or something like that though because like i said this i feel like i'm gonna mess it up before i even use it oh i see so they did they just did a little thing oh these don't feel like they're gonna do much they're not wet at all let's see how many it takes to get this off Ooh, the smell oh crap okay it has a scent on it y'all i don't know if that's good or bad for y'all but it has a scent it kind of smells i guess kind of rosy i know she put a lot of rose in a lot of her stuff this is taking off a good bit though not gonna lie i didn't expect it to work I i'm gonna double cleanse anyway but like no matter what i use i was gonna double cleanse but it's getting rid of a lot it's a tiny white though so i don't know i guess it's more hydrating than normal wipes like some wipes, my skin does feel really, really dry after, but you know, but man, I wanted this one not to work and it worked. I want to find something to not like. I, and I have to say, this is the only, I do find the rest of the things, I will say that. They're freaking expensive. I think they're expensive. They have beautiful packaging. They have really good ingredients, but like, I just don't want to pay that much for some of this stuff. Like $22 for a lip mask? Girl, stop. I took off that whole face with one wipe. Now, again, as y'all can see, I still have makeup on, but no wipe is going to get everything off, especially a hardcore look like that, especially a waterproof eyeliner. So I don't know how I'm going to get that crap off. This wipe? a lot off okay so that was the makeup wipes now i want to try the makeup melting cleanser i was so excited about this product i remember when it came out that i was really excited to try it because i am a double cleanse queen like i love to do my makeup remover and then a cleanser before i go to bed because i don't know who told y'all that you can just slide with one or the other if you're wearing makeup like i'm wearing today you can't you gotta get it off first then you can go back and cleanse after that so what i'm gonna do tonight i'm going to first do the makeup melting cleanser or whatever it's called i'm gonna do that first then 
then I'm gonna go take a shower and then we're gonna do a facial. It's gonna be such a nice relaxing spa night. And the shower is not just any shower because we have some highly skin body products. I have never used their body products. If you guys don't remember, I think it was last year, a year before last, I did my first big Kylie skin system where I had the face wash. I still have the milk toner and the, what else do I have? And the walnut scrub. I still have those two, but everything else I've flown through already. So I'm interested to try the Kylie skin body products because I haven't used any of the body products. I'm excited about them. Before I get into the shower, I want to take this makeup off. Right. Because sometimes I wash my face in the shower, so I want to just take the makeup off now. Kind of stripping for y'all. Enjoy the show, girl. Um, let's see. They also included this Kylie Skin makeup bag, but I don't really need it right now. And I have another one with the lips on it that I travel with, so I don't really need that. But I will say, the one with the lips on it is the bomb. Like, that's one of my favorite um, travel bags because it's just so freaking big. So, let me zoom you guys in a little bit more because we're going to be doing the makeup cleanser. I want y'all to see it work on my face. So, now y'all a little closer. Let's look at this melting cleanser. So, first, packaging. I love the packaging, obviously. It says, apply to wet skin morning and evening. Massage your whole entire face and rinse with whole entire face? Is that what it says? Massage over entire face and then rinse with warm water. Close your eyes while applying on face face apply to wet skin why really that's weird i'm glad i read this because i was gonna put on dry skin to remove the makeup i always use cleanser on on dry makeup to get it off i don't that's weird i'm surprised at that okay so i guess they're playing this like it's a cleanser that just has a really strong makeup i don't know what the deal is with that that's weird to me <gasps> crap that peeled off my whole freaking nail polish gel nails I'm not mad at all. This is actually just like a regular cleanser. Like it's not a make, I thought it was just a makeup remover, but they're acting like it's a cleanser, so. All right, y'all, so I've wet my face and it's crazy. I wet my face and literally none of this makeup moves. Let that be a testament to the Tarte Stay Spray. Ooh, okay, right off the bat, it's way, way different than the foaming cleanser. It smells good though, it smells like the cleanser. So it's like a gel kind of thing. I don't know if it's really taking off my makeup. I love the way it smells. Oh my God, it smells so good. I would like to use this and then go back and use the foaming cleanser like in a system, but I'm out of the cleanser. So I am dying to see what my eyes look like. So I'm gonna have to like, I need to see if this makeup is coming off because that was a lot of eyeshadow I used today. I know I said not, op to not open your eyes, but like, I gotta see what I'm doing here. Whoa, oh, a lot of it came off. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> whoa look at that that's crazy this eye which is done which i wiped off and then the other eye now i'm removing it like i would remove a makeup remover oh it definitely took off my makeup though really nice so i think you could probably use this as a single cleanse like you could use this to take your makeup off and to cleanse my face with i like this a lot actually I like the makeup melting cleanser, y'all. It's really good. We have a couple things to try out in the shower, so I'm gonna try those out. I cannot bring you in the shower with me. I know some of y'all are like, oh, I really thought she was that dumb. So this is the coconut body wash. Apply to wet skin, massage gently, and rinse well. I also have the two um, body scrubs. I do a body scrub every time I take a bath or a shower. I don't know who doesn't, but I love a good body scrub. So, oh, I didn't get a price point on that mel uh, melting cleanser thing. So the makeup melting cleanser, oh my God, cleanse and nourish is 28 bucks. That's kind of steep. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Twenty dollars. I don't know about all that, Kylie girl. That that's uh, you're 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 uh, you're shooting for the moon there, honey. I don't know. It's good, but I don't know if it's thirty dollars worth of good. So I want to look at the scrubs real quick. I'm assuming that the rose scrub is just the same thing as the coconut, but just a different scent. And I don't feel like I need to have both of them open at the same time. So I just want to smell them and see if the texture. Whoa. Wow, their packaging is like. Look at this packaging, y'all. So that you got the blue box outside, then each one of them has this beautiful like unicorn inside. This is a big size for a body scrub y'all look at that that's a big old size so this is the rose one i just want to smell it and see make sure it's the same thing oh yeah it smells hardcore oh straight up perfume yeah we can't do that i just want to make sure it's the same thing oh it's white nice so i can instantly see i was gonna ask that question if i had to stop and like read each one of them so the rose body scrub i think they came out with first if i remember correctly and then when they launched that was the one that came with the uh they had like the bad salts and all of that yes yeah, so this is the rose one which is pink and then this is the coconut one which is white now i personally am a coconut freak let me make sure they're the same size and everything yeah eight fluid ounces for both texture should be the same it's the same thing body scrub our sugar body scrub our new Lux rose okay so these are a little bit different our sugar body scrub provides hydration while gently exfoliating and buffing away dead skin massage over wet skin and circular motions this one says our new Lux rose Rose Body Scrub is an exclusive recipe of lush nutrients that delivers gentle exfoliation and healthy hydration. So maybe they are different. Well, I'm going to have to, now I'm going to have to open it. Oh, yes, I like the coconut one. We'll be going coconut tonight. Oh, I do feel a difference though. 
the rose one feels like it it's not like as tough we can do rose another day when i don't feel like busting my head open if you are a fan of rose scents i will tell y'all this thing smells hardcore rose this one the coconut body scrub smells pretty good to me i am definitely more of a coconut girl than a rose girl and like i said because they go together that's the ones i'm gonna try because i mean they match the coconut body wash is gonna match either one of the things so when i put them in the shower they're gonna sit just like this so cute i'm excited okay so i don't think there's a rose body wash by the way just so y'all know no they're both okay so the rose body scrub and the coconut body scrub are both $26 they retail for the same price and then the coconut body wash is $26 I'm sorry Kylie I have to tell you your skin stuff is way too expensive that's insane to charge $26 for a body wash like what is it gonna do that's so different that's weird they have a duo you could buy coconut body wash rose body lotion duo why would I want to mix those scents I feel like that wouldn't smell good my coconut body wash is a gel texture that gently cleanses refreshes and leaves skin soothed and silky smooth is dense creamy lather features a coconut scent that'll transform your bath or shower time into a relaxing tropical experience that's what i need today so let's take this in so if you get the body scrub and the body wash you're paying 50 bucks that is crazy i'm sorry i'm gonna go and take my shower using my new very expensive kylie body product bad news from the zone tumbleweeds if you guys know what that's from i love you if not then you need to get with it these two were a duh they it, it was like warm warm like i didn't like either one of these not that i didn't like them they were great for like a regular old i mean just a body wash and a body scrub but like i have so many more bodies especially this this was a big letdown because it didn't do anything y'all know my favorite scrub is the body prescription coconuts for you it was five dollars at tj maxx this 28 dollars body scrub didn't really leave my skin feeling softer or anything it did i guess it did scrub and get the dirt off and everything but like it was nothing that a regular old body scrub hasn't done actually it left my skin the body prescriptions when i use that one um it my skin feels better after like i don't even have to put a body wash on after that it makes my skin feel so soft this did not do that at all it just scrubbed it did smell really good um the aesthetic is pretty for the bathroom but 28 dollars no absolutely not it's just it didn't do it just didn't do anything that was super impressive to me i was expecting like a lot for a 28 dollars body scrub now again i didn't pay 28 dollars for it let me make that clear but like if you decide to buy it do not spend 28 these two together are 50 bucks y'all can really go to bath and body works and get a 15 dollars moisturizing body wash if you didn't see my um diamond list i'll put a card for that up there but y'all that is a good body wash this is just like it's just like liquid soap like it wasn't bad but it wasn't anything amazing yeah i don't know i don't know what made it worth that i'm really disappointed I, I didn't i don't like this i don't like it at all i really don't i had to use a lot of the body scrub too it's supposed to like it said it was gonna be a scrub to like whew. the last thing on our spa night is a mask so i did try the detox mask where is that at let me show it to y'all first so I did the detox face mask already a while back. Um, I'll insert the footage of me trying that out right here. I'm going to do the detox face mask. So here it is. And the package, that beautiful millennial pink color that I love. And I'm excited. So let's open it up. I adore Kylie's packaging. Just let that be said. I know people got beef with Kylie Jenner. I personally don't. I love her products. Girl, she can make a... I did get the hydrating one too. This matte packaging... I'm gonna have to leave this out on the uh on the counter let's see what is it like just so, okay so it's just like your run-of-the-mill charcoal mask Ugh, stinks but again i don't want my skincare to be fragrant so i'm not mad at that so let's see the directions here apply to cleans dry skin allow leave on for 20 to 30 minutes and then rinse off that's a long time 30 minutes is a long time but i love a good spa day so that's absolutely fine. it didn't say to steam first but on a regular basis i would steam my face before i do a, a face mask i just got out a steaming hot bathtub and then came into the glam room to shoot this video so let's start putting on the kylie skin detox face mask they didn't give a spatula or anything i thought they would but they didn't hey bub louis in here y'all so it said you can leave it on from 10 to 30 minutes y'all already know me by now i'm definitely going to leave it on the full 30 to make sure i get everything out of it i'm gonna set this for 30 minutes just in case my phone dies um i mean my camera dies i'm gonna set this for 30 hot minutes i want to read up on this 
on this mask though so what does it say let's see. it says here that treat your skin to detox with this cleansing facial mask formulated with canolin clay benzonite clay and charcoal to help remove impurities and excess oil infused with the mineral rich sea salt and fruit extracts that deliver vital conditioning while hyaluronic acid provides added hydration skin is left feeling fresh clean and renewed all right y'all so i have been sitting with this mask on now for 30 minutes plus a couple minutes because i started doing some work so i kind of lost track of time but and i will say this room is hot and i was sweating and i noticed that it did not the sweat did not gook up in my mud mask i hate when that happens but it happens surprisingly a lot but yeah it looks like it went on pretty well it looks like it dried down really good so i'm gonna go and rinse this off of my face so i just started talking and then realized that i never hit record on the camera so that's fine so let's start we'll just reset i am finished with the detox mask wiped it off left my face feeling pretty smooth pretty relaxed um really soft but every time i use a clay mask i think when you wipe it off because your skin is so taut with the clay on it it always feels super soft after so i wiped that off did my toner did my moisturizer serums all that good stuff and now i'm going to sit down and do the kylie skin sugar lip scrub now i have on my like every day in the bathroom i have a tower of beauty products i have the top tower top of the tower is my daytime products like everything i use every day and then the bottom of the tower is the night products everything i use every night and i do have the mac lip scrub just sitting up there i absolutely love that lip scrub and it was very difficult when i was moisturizing my face to not grab for that lip scrub just because i use it literally every day but i wanted to give the kylie skin sugar lip scrub a fair shot so this is the box same beautiful millennial pink that i love okay so this retails for how much twenty dollars that's crazy i don't know about twenty dollars for a lip scrub i think the mac lip scrub just is that much too but this is like a tiny little container you know what hold on one second okay y'all so just so we could get a good comparison i want to show y'all so this is the kylie lip scrub this is the mac lip scrub just this is my everyday one i use and then i also have i haven't opened this yet but i had it for a little while the coco lip scrub from pink so y'all can see kylie's is really small compared to theirs and this one costs eight bucks the mac costs the same amount as the kylie i was sick last night with a all day yesterday with a bad migraine so my lips are extremely dry so i'm excited to try this out Oh, it smells good. Damn, it smells amazing. So they said a pea-sized amount. They did include a spatula, which the rest of them did not include a spatula. And I will tell you, she got them on packaging, but just the size is so small. So let's see. Probably because it's real sugar. I did use the spatula. I don't know that I would ever actually use that spatula to apply this lip scrub. Oh, it doesn't taste good. The Mac lip scrub just, if you accidentally get it in your mouth, it's not gross. This is gross. Whatever it is that's holding the sugar together is very moisturizing, but... On my lip as much as the lip scrub just like it's a lot of that emollient stuff that's holding it together it's gonna leave your lips feeling soft it almost feels like it has a balm in it what's the ingredients on this sucrose sugar castor oil it definitely is giving me way softer lips than my max scrub just does and my max scrub just is really good but lip mask i always use my laneige right now but i'm gonna use the lip mask that kylie has here so let's wipe this off all right so now we are going to the lip mat the hydrating lip mat so this says apply the lips for maximum hydration that's really all it says same beautiful pack i love that her her pack y'all know how i feel about their pack here oh another little spatula okay cool hydrating lip mask it just says to apply it so i guess it's more like a lip balm like it doesn't have to be overnight this doesn't smell really particularly good either yeah which i guess i don't want it to be fragrance but like i use a little spatula to apply it Oh, this is nice. It reminds me of the Sarah Hat Lip Slip. It is definitely, mm, definitely moisturizing, but it's so moisturizing, it almost feels like just Vaseline on your lip. Okay, so like my Laneige, I wear it as like a lip balm. Like I put it on in the morning, I put it on at night, but this, it's so heavy and so thick, I don't think I could wear it during the day. Like it would have to be my nighttime lip mask, because baby, she's greasy. I'm not mad at it, but it's greasy. Like with this, I can't put lipstick on over it. I have to go to bed or wipe it off, because it's just so, you have to give this a lot of time to soak, because, oh, I don't know how much this costs hold on let me t no, I'm just trying to bring something. Lulu okay y'all so the lip mask is also $22 oh Kylie it says my hydrating lip mask moisturizes and hydrates leaving lips soft smooth and supple the rose flavored mask can be applied overnight or whenever you need long lasting care for your lips it's your lips new best friend so all right well let this sit for a little bit and i'll come back so i did already wash my face with that makeup melting cleanser it did pretty good i feel like my skin is pretty clean go ahead and try this mask and i just got out the shower i always take a shower when i don't want to break up my face steamer because the steam from the shower can open up your pores a good bit so now again i do have a um i have a uh a, a 
face steamer but i try not to use it unless i absolutely have to because it's just annoying to set it up so you know. indulge your skin with our hydrating face mask formulated to soothe moisturize and improve the look and feel of your skin apply to cleansed dry skin oh that's it there's no time or anything well how long am i supposed to leave it on does it does it stay overnight like oh my god y'all i hope they give more directions on the back because i have no idea like how i'm supposed to use this so is it an overnight mask they're not when people do stuff like this like what does that mean what does it mean insert the footage of miley cyrus what does it mean what does it mean ah! my um caress right now i have a it's called a nighttime facial a night brightening facial so i'm assuming that's what this is but like you can't just assume that like what am i supposed to wear it like girl okay hold on we're gonna have to see i might have to let this girl tell me what's up because i'm so confused I'm watching YouTube videos trying to figure out if I'm supposed to take this off my face or not. Did Kylie review it? I love to put this on again at all times of the day. I didn't want to just say night mask for this because I use this all the time. You don't have to wash this off, although you can. You could just use this for 10 minutes. So I just watched Kylie do it um, and she said to uh, that you could leave it on all night. She didn't want to specify that it was a night mask because some people want to use it in the daytime, blah, 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 blah. Pretty much an overnight moisturizer. So yeah, this feels similar to the moisturizer. Oh, it's heavy though. Yeah, it is overnight mask for sure. Definitely an overnight mask. But I like this hydrating mask. I just wish I knew what it was. Component. Oh, it's like a lip gloss almost. Okay. The lip oil retails for $22 again. Kylie, this is so... The lip products are so expensive. My lip oil is a non-sticky formula that hydrates, comforts, and leaves lips looking smooth and naturally plumped. It's rich conditioning texture. Combines the shine of a lip gloss with the moisture sealing effects of a balm while leaving a subtle sheen. So this would be the one I'd use in the daytime and the other one I'd use at in night. Ooh, this is a nice bottle. I love this applicator, if I could pull it out. It's wide like a paddle, so you can tell it's not a lip gloss. Oh my God, oh my God. Dude, I love this lip oil. I heard good things about it. Like even people that don't like Kylie skin, like this lip oil and i love it all right y'all so that was a big shipment and a big review of kylie skin so let's go over every single thing and we'll decide if it works or not this is the first time i think i've ever done a uh, wrap up video with no makeup on but i was like i'm not gonna do my makeup and all that it's a spa night you have this little kylie card we already have that it's the just the text whatever to get whatever i've never gotten five dollars from that girl so i don't know what that's about this is just a kylie skin bag i already have the one with the lips so i'm just going to store this one for use whenever i feel like using it i don't know when that's going to be but i love their bags i really do this one is not as good as the other one because the other one folds out and it has like three sets definitely like if i was doing um if i'm going somewhere to get ready for something and i have to bring like a crap ton of stuff to keep me together like if i'm shooting something on location or something like that that would be a good container for that that's i'm just gonna throw all that paper on the side the next thing i want to talk about is the makeup wipe i did try these out on my earlier test out video i like them i definitely am going to keep it in my like in the bathroom it's not the makeup wipes i'm going to use to uh clean off brushes and stuff that i keep in here because it's too expensive i love the way it smells and i do like that it breaks down the makeup super fast like for a makeup wipe it did surprise me i still think it's a little high for makeup wipes but i get it you literally i removed my whole face with one makeup wipe and that was a shooting day so like like my makeup was really on so our like skincare so these are gonna go in the bathroom but i i do like these it's one of the better makeup wipes i've used i do not like the container because you can't snap it back so that's my only issue with it but it is a good makeup wipe so Ugh. I don't want to talk about this because I was so disappointed in this this is the coconut body wash let's go ahead and talk about it with the body scrubs does it work though? No, I don't like these. They are incredibly overpriced in my opinion. I think they're $28 a piece. Like $28 for this and literally it's just like a scrub from anywhere else. There's nothing special about it. There's no pizzazz with it. There's nothing special. It's just not all that. I just really don't know what made them think that this was worth $28 because I don't see it. Same thing with the body wash. The body wash to me was just a plain old body wash. Not even a particularly good body wash. Just a plain old body wash. Like there was nothing special about it. Um, um, it didn't do anything that was extra crazy good. It didn't even, like, I have body scrubs that work better than this one. I have body washes that work better than this one. So these two, these two, y'all, that was a letdown. I was really excited about the Kylie bath stuff. And I do have the rose one. I did not try it yet. I will use it and I'll report back and let y'all know if I love it or not. I can't see myself loving it because this, it's the same thing. They look the exact same, just the color's different. I'm only keeping these because they look so pretty in my bathroom with all the rest of my Kylie skin stuff. But I mean, this is, 
a little bit of a flop there, Kai. Next, um, let's talk about some stuff I reviewed last time. Okay, the Detox Face Mask. I love this. I used it again today. This is the second time I've used it. I really, really like it. I do feel like it gets really deep down in your pores. I'd love to use a, a steamer with it to see if it could really get deep down into the pores, but I really like it. It did, I feel like it pulled stuff out of my skin. It wasn't hard to use, like the black mask, like the real peel-off mask that hurt really bad to peel off. Yeah, so this is $22. I got mine at the Ulta skincare event. I think it was $11. I think it was half off. So it definitely was a good buy. I like it. It does work pretty good. I don't know. $22 still is a little steep, but I think it might be worth it. Honestly, just the packaging itself, all of the Kylie Skin packaging just eats. They eat with that packaging. Like, it's all really, really beautiful stuff. So that's going to stay. I like that a lot. These little hair clips i mean they were just hair clips nothing exciting about them there's not that much i could really say besides they're just hair clips like there's not a lot to go off of with that yeah ten dollars so they were ten dollars i will say they are like soft touch so like they don't slide around in your hair like i put these in my hair i took a shower with these i did all kind of stuff with them and they stayed just fine they do have a special coating on them that i really like and they don't hurt like for me i have to be really careful with that well the lip scrub the sugar lip scrub this one and the hydrating lip mask so i use the hydrating lip mask tonight i used all of i, I used this tonight i reviewed it before but i used it again tonight just since i I was having a Kylie spa night I wanted to use more Kylie products I definitely love the scrub and the balm not the balm the mask the hydrating lip mask this definitely is a lip mask for overnight though because it is so like greasy I definitely like this for that the only thing I they have these little spatulas that I definitely love with it but the only thing is I don't know what to do with it after I throw the box away I can't rest this on top of it because it's too big for the container so like I can't put it in there I don't really know what to do with the spatula and I like to apply the stuff with the spatula I do still find this to be overpriced as well it is good but i just don't think that like and i mean honestly maybe i'm just spoiled because i have such good deals from stuff that i get at tj maxx or that i get on, on like a mega sale so maybe my mind just can't comprehend this yeah the hydrating mask and the peel the mask is $22 and the peel the scrub is $20 the lip oil y'all let's talk about this lip oil because girl this lip oil is everything this I think it's $22 and it's definitely worth it if you're gonna pay the money anywhere this is where I would put it I adore this lip oil now I happen to have um, when I run out of my really awesome lip balm I'm carrying in my purse now I'm gonna put this in there I just I really like it it settles on the lips like so good it it doesn't have a taste, but it has a smell. It's super smooth. It's not sticky at all. It's like, it's like a lip moisturizer. Like it's so good. Like that, that I did all the lip products I love, but the lip oil, I really, really love. I like the scrub too, because like I said before, whatever it is they use in there to hold the sugar together, it makes your lips super soft. Like even before I put the mask on, as soon as I started rubbing that sugar scrub on my lips, I started to feel how soft my lips are getting. And I just, I really, really like that. Speaking of overpriced, let's talk about this. The makeup melting cleanser. I don't think that one is overpriced. $28 is a little bit steep but i haven't used it i've only used it once tonight if it does give you some benefits to your skin after t uh, after a little bit of time then i definitely would say go with it but i feel like you could get away with using this as a cleanser and a makeup remover like in one and i never suggest that because i usually don't have success with it but this i did i really did like this makeup melting cleanser so i mean it's up to you what you want to do if you don't mind doing the two steps but sometimes when i get home late at night and i'm tired and i have a face full of makeup which is usually when i'm coming back late at night because whatever i went to i have a face full of makeup for like when i used to go to raw all the time oh my god a concert you get home and you're so tired you swear you perform that night like it's crazy so if you are one of those people and you want to just knock that out in one shot i definitely like this and then the hydrating face mask i love this i use this tonight i i do really like this though and i have to say one thing i really really liked from the original set was the moisturizer and this of course reminds me a lot of the moisturizer um but i wouldn't suggest you use it during the day it's really heavy um unless you have really really dry skin and even if you do i feel like if you put this on daily over and over again i feel like you might start to get like build up because there's so much moisture all the time i think that's everything that i tried out in the kylie skin by night i did try everything out tonight it was fun it was very relaxing i got to put on my pink robe and have fun with it yeah if you guys have any questions or comments you can either 
leave it in the comment section below or you can hit me up on any social media um, which is also listed down below I'm gonna link each and every product that I tried out tonight I'm gonna link them all down below for you guys please like the video if you like the video and if you like the channel please consider subscribing thank you guys so much for joining me tonight for my Kylie skin spa night I'm here with you if you want to spa night or get glam you can come on over here and get glam with Marty I'll see you guys next time bye